Again. Welcome distinguished guests, family, friends, and community members. Good afternoon, I am Sharon Dango, and I welcome you to this very important and historical day. The swearing in of ceremony of the Honorable Susanna B. Lewis. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules during this holiday season to join us. It is a true honor for me Whoop, before I do that, I have to back up. I would like to do the introduction of the judges that are present today. We have the Honorable Stephen McElvain, Judge of Wadsworth Municipal Court. The Honorable Kevin Dunn, Judge of the Medina County Probate and Ju Juvenile Probate Court. The Honorable John J. Lone, Retired Judge of the Medina County Juvenile and Probate Court and the Honorable Gary Warner, Judge of the Medina, Medina Municipal Court. So thank you um, to all state and local officials who are here today, law enforcement and members of the various Medina agencies who are present today. Okay now, it's a true honor for me to be here today. I've had the distinct pleasure to work with Sue for several years at the Medina County Juvenile and Probate Court. Out of working together, we developed an incredible friendship. I am very proud to know Sue. And what I learned about Sue, and I will only name a few of the highlights, is she is honest, she is kind, she is intelligent, bilingual, and she is dedicated to the individuals of Medina County. She truly cares about people. She will serve the residents of Medina Municipal Court jurisdiction without fail. Lastly, working on Sue's campaign, I observed the never ending force of support, guidance, and love demonstrated by her devoted husband, Greg Lewis. <laughs> All right, it is time now for me to introduce the Honorable Stephen McElvain, Judge of Wadsworth Muni Court. Judge McElvain will be retiring at the end of this year after 26 years on the bench. Thank you, Judge. Good afternoon. Um, before the election, I mean, I knew who she was, but I don't think we'd ever met Sue and I. Um, but right before the election, WCTV came to me and asked me to do the interviews for all the candidates. So I was honored to do that, and so I got to interview Sue, and if I do say so much, that was a darn good interview. But, <laughs> but what was nice is I learned a lot. I learned a little bit about where she was from, some of her background. It was very interesting. Then when she won the election, I immediately invited her over, and she'd been coming to the court, um, and I've been able to see her interact with the staff, I've seen her uh, throw herself into learning the systems. Uh, she met with every one of the staff over there, sat at their desks, learned about them, what they do, and how they do it, okay? Um, she's come to the court repeatedly. She's come and she's sat in on trials. She sat in on uh, sentencing. She's watched arraignments because she, she does juvenile. She wants to know what's going on in this court. So I've been very impressed with the way she's gone about preparing herself to come in there at the beginning of the year. Um, you know, when you've been around uh, any uh, court or anything for a number of years, you kind of get attached, you know, and you wonder, well, you know, you know, what's going, what's going to happen next, you know, and I get attached to my staff. Well, after uh, meeting with Sue, because after she comes to court, she'd, she'd sit there and she'd take notes. And then afterwards she'd come in, she and I'd sit in the, uh, the, uh, in the office and she'd ask me the questions. We'd go over that. So I got to see how she's going to, how her mind's thinking, how she's preparing for this. You know, and after this time, I, I'm not only confident, but I know this court is in good hands. So uh, I want to congratulate, congratulate you, Judge, and the only advice is enjoy every minute of it. Thank you so much, Judge McElvain. Next is Christopher Lewis, who will do our invocation. If you could join me in prayer, everyone. Dear Gracious Heavenly Father, Thank you for bringing us all together today. A day of celebration, close to the holidays, but also 
a day of new beginnings with the new year, and a day of celebration and new beginnings to swear in Susanna Lewis. I ask that you lend her your spiritual gifts so that you may guide her path as she takes on this new journey. I ask that you lend her your eyes so that she may focus on justice, and that you may lend her your heart so she will lead with your grace. Thank you for your blessings, Father. In your name we do pray. Amen. Thank you, Chris. Okay, we will have Ralph Copley, City of Wadsworth Councilman Ward 1, um, come up and he will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Can I ask everyone to stand, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Ralph. Now for the big moment that we are all here for today. The administration of oath, which will be administered by the Honorable John Lone, Judge of Medina County Common Pleas Juvenile and Probate Court. Retired, I said. Retired. Yes. <laughs> Happily retired. Happily retired. <laughs> Holding um, the Bible for Sue's um, swearing in will be her husband, Greg, and their children, Caroline and Christopher. Um, before we go further, I want to acknowledge that Judge uh, Schaefer is here from the uh, Domestic Relations Court. I think you can come over here, Judge, and sit with the other judges. <laughs> you can go this way. Nobody bites here. <laughs> okay, now we are going to have the robing of the Honorable Susanna B. Lewis. Judge of Mun um, the Wadsworth Municipal Court by Caroline and Christopher.
Thank you very much. Um, so this is kind of an amazing moment today for me. It's really overwhelming. I'm just filled with gratitude and um, overjoyed really to be here before every one of you. Everyone here today uh, who's made this um, such an important moment in my life, I just want to tell you how very much it means to me. Um, I want to first uh, extend my, my gratitude, my thank you to my husband Greg and my children, Chris and Caroline. With, you know, they've given me endless amount of love and support. I couldn't ask for more, really. I'm very blessed. And also to my campaign committee. I had a kickoff party committee, great friends that helped, uh, lit drops and things like that. I just want to say we put it together quickly and they were simply the best. My treasure and everyone in the committee. Thank you so very, very much. I'm really grateful to you always. Also, um, I'd like to thank my mom and my sister. Unfortunately, they couldn't be here today, um, but they're in my heart. WCTV, I think they're here somewhere. In any case, I, I want to say that we're broadcasting live so that my mom and my sister can watch this and also some of my family and friends that couldn't be here today. Um, I would like to uh, just state that um, my mom is a source of inspiration for me. Gracias, mami, si estás escuchando, te quiero con todo mi corazón. And thank you to my sister, Isabel, who's been really my, and is, your sister's your best friend, your first friend. She's been my rock and supporter my whole life. I couldn't ask for a better sister and friend. Um, also, there are a couple people I just want to acknowledge who aren't here. And first, um, and looking down from heaven, is my father, Edgardo Lorenzo, and my mother and father-in-law, uh, Ray and Mary Lewis. They couldn't be here today. Of course, they've passed. Uh, but um, I know they're watching over these proceedings. I like to think of them actually together in this moment. And I'd like to thank my father-in-law, Ray, for many, many years ago when I became a magistrate, he actually, he did a lot of um, woodworking, really beautiful pieces, but he made me two gavels. He made me one where, for me to take to work with me, and just so everybody knows I've never had to use it um, in all those years, and I did, and he made me one for when I became a judge. So I just wanted to let dad know I actually brought it. So here it is, and I hope to never use it. <laughs> but thank you, Dad. He, um, he put my name on it with his beautiful penmanship too, so I love that part of it. Um, I've had the privilege to work with some amazing people, and I think I would be remiss to not acknowledge the very, very most important people. Um, every, everyone is, but I, I wanted to acknowledge and thank the Honorable Judge uh, Kevin W. Dunn. I have worked alongside Judge Dunn. He's been my boss, supporter. He's done an amazing job. And together we, um, you know, we built a lot of things in juvenile court. Um, and I just want to say thank you. Always be grateful, Judge, for allowing me to serve the kids of our community and serve and be a magistrate for you. So thank you so much. I'm so very honored that you're here. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. So I want to acknowledge Judge Lone, who hired me. Judge Lone was my very, he actually hired me, um, didn't really know me, so he took a chance. And I want to say thank you, Judge, for being here and for giving me the honor of swearing me in. Um, I think you swore in Judge Dunn as well. So I was really privileged that you swore both of us in. Thank you, Judge. Um, I want to acknowledge my friends from work that are here today. I want to say that there's some people here that I worked with uh, at the court, and I want to say thank you for coming. You know, I love you guys, and it's a hard thing for me um, to miss you this much. But it's going to be all right, because we'll always be friends. I know that to be true. I just want to say that the time I spent there was an amazing time in my life, and I will cherish every single moment of it with you. Because not only did I love working with the kids, I loved working with you. Um, in the front row, we have some really important people. Many of them are the people that I will work with soon, and I've gotten to know them, and that's been really a pleasure. And I'm really thankful to have the opportunity to work with such amazing women. It will be an all-woman court 
What is that? Everybody did their part to help me, like show me the ropes and all the really great things about the court, how it functions, the little details. And I just want to say thank you so much. Everybody has their area of expertise and stuff coming over from the juvenile world. Everyone was so great to me. Also want to thank, um, of course, from the very bottom and deepest part of my heart, the Honorable Judge Steve McElvain, and just say thank you, Judge. Um, I know that um, when there are changes and transitions, it's not always the way it was for me. But from the very first moment, you opened your doors wide open and you treated me with kindness and showed me the ropes, really. And thank you. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate all you've done. And thank you so much for making this a smooth transition, both for me and for the, um, everyone at, at the court. I, I really am honored. I'm honored, privileged, and it's going to be really hard to fill those shoes. I've said it. Thank you, Judge. Thank you for everything. Um, so um, there's a lot of people. And if I haven't said your name, please know that um, I thank you and love you. Love you all. Um, I've often said that I am the least likely person to stand before you. It's kind of one of my thoughts here. I, you know, it's, it's, kind of a, it's kind of an amazing thing. Um, I'm actually uh, number six. In January, I'll be one of six judges in our county. Um, but I also will be, when I am, sw I'm sworn in today, but I don't actually take office until the beginning of the year. Um, so in January, I'll be the sixth Hispanic judge in our state. In 2022, I found a number on Google, so please forgive me if it isn't perfect, but there are approximately 723 judges, and I am the sixth Hispanic woman. I'm also the very first woman to serve on the Wadsworth Municipal Bench, and thank you, Wadsworth Municipal Court community, for making history in that regard. I'm very grateful. And I promise, this is almost over. I'm going to wrap it up here soon. <clears throat> Many of you know that um, I'm a first generation immigrant. We moved from Argentina in pursuit of uh, the American dream when I was a small child. My parents sacrificed it all. They left their families, their language, culture, and friends. They were actually in their 30s when we arrived in New York City. It was in the 60s in a time when there was much civil unrest. Um, we had very little when we arrived. However, I mean, we had it all. We had a lot of love and care. You don't really need a lot of things. You just need to be there for one another and have a great family, and I had that. Um, so when we arrived, um, you know, I was in kindergarten, and my sister was in fourth grade, and we only spoke Spanish. So we learned English in school. Um, we went to school both in New York City and in New Jersey. We all worked extremely hard, both my parents and my mom and my sister and I. Um, my family, uh, my father, um, he, I guess he's on my blazer. My father, um, you know, with very little, very little in terms of the ability to have like um, an education, the kind of education that we sometimes take for granted. And with very little money, he went on to own a jewelry store, his own. <laughs> Um, with my mom and dad's hard work, they eventually moved to a small town in New Jersey where um, they bought a house and both of their daughters, me and my sister Isabel, we both graduated from college. We all sacrificed and we had a really, really good life. In college, I had a friend who was taking the LSAT, the law school admission test, and he encouraged me to take it as he was and to go to law school, and I, of course, thought he was kidding. I could not imagine myself being a lawyer or anything that I considered important like that. I never saw myself that way. Um, but he encouraged me. He had faith in me. I went on to law school. I became a prosecutor afterwards, and then I was a magistrate in juvenile court. But it wasn't really always a walk in the park, right? Our journeys are not like these straight lines of easiness and, and, and joy. You know, there were some times that were hard. But the thing is, 
you know, just like all of us in hard times, I persevered and I really never gave up. Um, so I think that's a really important lesson is to believe, you know, to believe in other people the way that someone believed in me, to encourage others and to work really, really hard, sacrifice, and to never give up, to be tenacious. In the municipal court, in this municipal court and all of our municipal courts, we have a huge responsibility. Most of the people, I believe, that we encounter, in, that encounter actually a court, encounter a municipal court, they don't generally go to the bigger courts. By the most part, it's like a people's court. And their experiences will define how they view the American justice system overall. I'm keenly aware of how weighty that responsibility is and vow to protect the reputation of our judicial system. It's built on fairness and impartiality. As a magistrate working with our county's children for over 18 years, this community is the most important thing to me, as are the children and families of our community, the people that we serve. I hope to address mental health and drug abuse and violence through court programming and supervision, and I intend wholeheartedly to make a difference. I, just in closing, I hope to inspire others to follow their dreams, regardless of how far away they may appear. I have a, have a deep faith in God and in people, and I care. I plan to work hard, do my best, and apply the law fairly and impartially with knowledge, strength, and wisdom. I just want to say thank you to everyone. I'm really excited to start this new journey together, and thank you so much for being here. open a gift here um, in that hopefully we can all share it together in it. <laughs> in talking to her husband, he thought it might be a good idea that we do it now. Just slide it. Push it. M and M's and Judge Sue Lewis. Oh wow! This is so cool. Sure, they make this. Yeah. Wow! Look at this. No, I made it in my class. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get that filled up as soon as my duties are done here. <laughs> okay. Okay, to end our program today, um, I would like to introduce to you an individual who has a voice of an angel, Colleen Rice. Colleen is a resident of Lodi and is the executive director of the Domestic Violence Shelter in Richland County. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans wide with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. Oh. 
Okay, it has been my pleasure to be here today and thank each and every one of you for coming to this celebration of Su Judge Susanna Lewis. Judge Lewis and her family invite you to stay and visit, enjoy, and have some beverages and pastry. Happy holidays to everyone and blessings of the new year. Thank you. WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.